Good evening everyone, Rhonda Gibson here with cardsforchrist.net and tonight we are going to be working on a Father's Day card and I actually am working with, I'm going to show you one Father's Day card as I make it and then another one I'm just going to show it to you because I think it's really cool too. But I wanted to show you that we're going to be working with the Stampin' Blend markers and what we have here is Pool Party. We have Bermuda Bay Light. This is the light also. Bermuda Bay Light, Bermuda, Bermuda, <laughs> Bermuda Bay Dark, sorry, Dark Mint Macron, Light Mint Macron, uh, Light Soft Suede, Dark Soft Suede, Ivory, and then a Color Lifter. And as you guys know, I've been telling you about my Stampin' Blends Club. And so these are some of the markers that we will be working with. And I'm going to show you how you can use uh, the same markers to make totally different cards and so I thought that would be kind of fun thing to do tonight I'm pulling my hair up if you're wondering what I'm doing. I'm a little warm tonight I haven't felt good over the last few days and so tonight you're getting to see mainly my desk and my projects because my face is very tired looking <laughs> so anyway uh, without further ado I'm just going to slide these to the I'm going to actually slide them up I think I'm just going to slide them up like so and then I'm going to show you the card we're making. Now the card we're making tonight I actually am using um, last month's paper pumpkin. That, I think it was last month. Yes, I think it was May. April, I'm sorry, April paper pumpkin. This is the card that we're going to make tonight. And I decided that since I haven't got my May Paper Pumpkin yet, I wanted to make an alternative Paper Pumpkin card with the May, uh, May kit. So I had, an, I had a leftover, a couple of leftover uh, Fun Bold cards. And so what I did was I just simply made it a Father's Day card. This one says Happy Father's Day. It's a very simple card to make. Gives you lots of room to write something to your dad if you want to. Or if you wanted to stamp something else in it, you could. Now, I'm going to show you. This was the paper pumpkin that we used last month uh, in April. And it came with the matching envelopes, which I do have one here for this card, which is awesome. And it had these uh, cards here that we could make. And I had a ball with this kit. I didn't think I would like it that much. But I just have played with it and played with it. And I really like it. And I actually got a couple of extra ones so that I could play with them more because I want to got want to be able to show you guys lots of alternatives with um with our paper pumpkin kits. This is the stamp set ca that came with it. And tonight all we're using is the Happy Father's Day stamp for it. So we're going to be using that. I'm going to set it to the side also. Then um, we're going to be using a good man. Now this is a, a stamp set that's in the old catalog that we're fixing to go out of, which it's the current catalog, I guess I should say. And it's also in our new catalog. But I love this stamp set for Father's Day. I think it's really great. You can probably read what it says, but I'll tell you anyway. You do a great job of being a great guy. Relax your way. Thanks to you, you're the best. It's your day. I grew up loved. Being a good dad starts with being a good man. And then it says, for you. Has the heart, has the Father's Day, the father kicked back in his lawn chair or beach chair, whatever you want to call it. Has a dad with a little boy on his shoulder and then it also has a dad with a little girl on their shoulder. Now guys, Father's Day is kind of hard for me because I lost my dad. Well, I didn't lose him. I know where he's at. He's in heaven. But um, he passed away a few years ago, uh, like in 20 some years ago. But it still is hard when you think, oh, okay, I got... I don't have a dad, but I do have a dad. I have a wonderful dad. Um, not only does my heavenly father my dad, but uh, Jinx's dad is a great man. I just dropped my tape, and then I ran over it. Okay, we're just going to not use that one. We're going to use a different one. Um, he is a great, great man, and he uh, has been a good stepdad, I guess, for me. I don't think you'd really call him a good father-in-law. That's what he is. He's a great father-in-law, but he's Jinx's dad, and he's really wonderful. And so I try not to dwell on the fact that my dad's in heaven. I concentrate on the fact that I have a good good dad here on earth that's still here. So, and I'm also very moody, guys, because I haven't been feeling good. So just please excuse me. <laughs> Getting all, all um, dewy-eyed here. Okay, and I'm going to have to get out my mini trimmer, I see. 
So we're going to start off with this. This is the card base that came with the, the paper pumpkin kit. We have the envelope laying here also. I'm just going to put that right there. And these are the two things that we're going to work with tonight. And like I said, I just realized that I have my paper cut too large, the white paper cut too large. So let me grab my, my little paper trimmer. I love this little paper trimmer. I wish you guys could purchase it. I was really hoping it would come out in the new catalog. It is four by um, two and three fourths. Okay. And that's the way it's supposed to be. And then the white paper is supposed to be three and three fourths by two and a half. So we're going to bring it down. I'm going to find my three fourths mark. I'm sorry, guys. I did not intend to have to cut paper, but that's the way it goes sometimes, right? Throw that in my trash can. And then we need a two and a half. So that's going to go right there. And it's not very much, you know, it's not a whole lot that I messed up on. Just two small pieces, but it makes a difference. Okay, so I'm going to put my paper trimmer back where I got it from. And then we are going to stamp tonight the gentleman in his lawn chair. Love, love, love this little stamp. I thought it was really cute. And so I wanted to, to use it tonight. So we're going to put some ink on it. And I've got my fan going, so I'm hoping it doesn't dry it out before I get it on there. Like I said, I'm kind of power surging at the moment. And it's gotten warm here in New Mexico. I think our temperatures have been in the 90s. And so my little cottage gets pretty warm. And I didn't have it, my air conditioner on this afternoon. Just had this little fan blowing right on me. And it was wonderful. Ta-da! There he is, guys. Isn't he cute? I'm going to grab my Simply Chamois. And I've put my Simply Chamois because I'm just doing little blocks tonight. I put it in this little Ziploc bag. I love this idea. I saw another demonstrator do it, and it stays moist in that little Ziploc bag, just like it does in my case, but since I'm just doing small, I actually put this in here so that I could take it to Oklahoma with me when I got home, uh, when I was supposed to go home, and we just, we did not get to go home when we thought we would, so I just decided to use it while I can, so I'm going to set that to the side. Um, I'm going to go ahead, and I'm going to stamp, since I'm in the stamping mood, I'm going to go ahead and stamp Happy Father's Day. That way, if I mess it up, I can flip it over and stamp both of them again, and I won't have done all my coloring. So here we go. Put it right out here. Stamp. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And voila. That turned out really pretty. So I put the Simply Chamois away. i got to get it out again. And you could put anything you wanted to on the inside of this card as well. I just put Happy Father's Day on the front. And uh, I like it, so I'll set that to the side, put this back over here. Uh, I actually got out It's Your Day, which I had thought about putting It's Your Day right there. But then I thought, well, I really don't want to make it over too much on the front. I could put it on the inside, and you could too if you have this stamp set. It's really nice stamp set. Oh, by the way, this uh, Happy Father's Day came from the paper pumpkin, and the, and the gentleman came from a, a, a good a good man. So I thought I better clarify that real quick. So, okay, we're going to start with, uh, I think I'll start with his shirt. And I'm just going to start with the light. This is the light Bermuda Bay. And I'm going to color pretty quick, guys. I'm going to try not to be on here very long. I know coloring, watching other people color is kind of boring sometimes. But I had to I had to do it. I just had to. I'm doing his shirt. I'm trying to decide if that's part of his shirt. I think it is. Anyway, I hope you guys are having a great day. I hope you had a good weekend. We had a very quiet weekend. James and I um, have decided to self-quarantine for 14 days because we may or may not have been exposed to the coronavirus and we don't want to expose any of our friends or family. So we're we're just staying inside. We're doing fun things. He um, is going to be officially retired. Now I'm using the light soft suede. He is going to be officially retired on, oh, I should have went with my darker. Oh, well, sorry, guys. Um, on June 1st, but he decided he wanted to take his vacation time. So, you know, I'm going to go ahead and make this part of his shorts. I'm not sure it is. But I kind of like it. I'm giving him shorts that kind of come down just a little longer. 
All right. And then I want to go back in with that Bermuda Bay, the dark, and I want to highlight Stampin' Up! is, whoops, yeah, that's right. Stampin' Up! is really good at giving you lines to kind of help you highlight if you want to highlight some stuff, just to kind of give his little shirt dimension. So there we go. I don't know if you guys can tell the difference, but I can from this side. And then I want to go back to my light crumb cake. Um, I'm sorry, soft suede. I've used crumb, crumb, crumb cake a lot. And I decided I wanted to go with the soft suede. So this is light soft suede, not crumb cake. And I'm going in with it. That's cover his hat. I'm going to go in real quick with the dark. And again, I'm just going to give it some highlights so you can see where his the top of his hat is. And then I'm going to go around the edge just a little bit, just to kind of darken it up a little bit. I'm going to do the same thing with his pants. And like I said, you already have these really cool lines that you can use. So there we go. There's his pants. Then um, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with the mint macaron and I'm going to do the chair. And guys, I really did this backwards. This is not going to look exactly like my other one, which is okay. It doesn't have to, right? Um, <laughs> sometimes I do silly things and I guess I mixed up my colors just then. I'm going to leave that. That's the um, dark mint macaron. And then I'm going to go with the light. And I'm going to go behind and fill out the rest of the chair. I love that these have two tips. They have the bullet tip, which is your point your point tip. I hope you can see that pretty good. And you guys, I label all of my markers so I can see it fast. And then you also have a paintbrush, paintbrush tip, which I will show you here in just a second. I will show you. Here's the paintbrush tip. And it looks like a paintbrush. And the way you can tell the difference before you even open them, and I noticed if you can hear it, it's clicking because you got to have those tight because this is an alcohol based marker. But it has the larger line for the paintbrush and a short line for the bullet. Okay? So I hope you can see that. They're alcohol based. They, do, they will bleed through some papers like this one. And uh, so you have to be careful. All right, now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my ivory. And ivory is supposed to be one of the skin colors. So I'm going to grab it, and I'm going to go over. And you can go over lightly or dark, darkly. And I tend to accidentally go too dark sometimes, which really frustrates me. But I'm doing pretty good this time. So, giving him a nice little tan. Same thing with his legs, and I see where I've missed my chair in a couple of places, so I'm going to have to go back to my to my other marker and fix that chair. And I don't know if you guys can tell yet, but on the, his um, on his pant leg, it looks just like the other one now. <laughs> I fixed it. Now I want to go in, and I just want to take out just a little bit of this color because I think he's too dark. This is a color lifter, and it just lifts color right off of this. And you can make skin tones and things like that lighter. If I wanted to make his shirt look more um, uh, kind of like worn, like beach, beach worn, I could. I could go in and just take off. I don't know if you can see it, but it is taking some of that color off. And you kind of have to just take a little off and then kind of let it blow dry a little bit and see. I think that's pretty good. But I do need to go back in with my mint macaron and finish his chair because I did not finish the chair. So, there we go. He, that's fixed. And then the last thing I want to do is I want to take my pool party and I'm just going to go around his feet. And make it look like water, like he's on the edge of water. And it doesn't have to be perfect. I used the brush tip for that. And voila! That part is done. Now I'm going to take this and I'm going to pop it up because I want it to have just a little bit of dimension. You guys know I like my dimension. I'm going to pop it up real quick. See how that is going to work. 
Anyway, this is really fun, guys. Uh, I, I'm doing my blender class. This is the first year. First year. Well, it is the first year. First time I've ever done one. Guys, I go a little overboard on these dimensions because they're only $4 for a package of them. And you get 300 And for some reason, that makes me think I have liberty to use as many as I want. But anyway, back to my blender plant. Ben, Stampin' Right Blender... Stampin' Right Blender Marker Club. That's a mouthful, isn't it? Um, it's $70 a month. You get three to four sets of markers, and you get a stamp set. This month's class is going to be this, A Good Man. So you'll get this, you'll get this stamp set, and you'll get um, one, two... Three. You'll get about four, four markers and four four combinations, and then you're also going to get the color lifter. I have the actual details someplace else. I don't know what I did with them, but I will put it down in the description below if you're interested in that. It's going to be a lot of fun. Okay, now here's a here's a suggestion. When you make a fun fold Z looking card, you only want to put it on one half of the page. Earlier, I accidentally put a lot of glue on this side, and I had to put a, or a lot of glue on this side, and I had to put another piece of paper over the back of it, so it's not quite as pretty as I wanted it to be. So this one will probably be my Father's Day card. Maybe. I'm debating between it and another one. Anyway, so what we're going to do is instead of putting the, the, the tape on this, I'm going to lay my paper like this so I can see where I want it, but I'm going to put the tape actually on Come on, there. And I want to make sure that I haven't, I want to make sure I go far enough down so it stays. <laughs> and it's really fighting me. And then I'm going to go like that. I'm going to put it on like so. And I want it to come out about to here. So I'm going to do that. And there it is. It is done. And it opens like this. Now, like I said, you could take this and you could put it right here and say, it's your day. Happy Father's Day. It's your day. You could use any of these sentiments. You do a great job of being a great guy. If you wanted to put that on the inside. Thanks to you, I grew up loved. That would be wonderful. If I had that, if my dad was around, I would definitely be giving him that. Being a good dad starts with being a good man. And that's a great one also. So guys, uh, you could even put Happy Father's Day, relax your way. So that's our card for tonight. And like I said, it's going to go with this envelope. Now let me show you another card. And I'm basically going to show you the whole thing. Uh, I'm This time I used the Paper Pumpkin Kit. Um, hugs, let's see. Hugs, for, hugs from Shelly. Sheesh, I can't believe I couldn't remember that. Hugs from Shelly. And with it, this is a whole one that I still have left over, um, and I love it. So I'm, I'm probably going to break that out and do it again, too. But I used this bird here, and I used this feather here. And this is kind of hard for you to see, I'm sure. So I'm just going to grab the envelope, and I'm going to put it behind it. Maybe you, There we go. You could probably see that better now. But anyway, you get, it had all these wonderful stamps too, but all I used was this bird and this feather. And so I made it like this. I took a, um, this is, um, I'm sorry guys, my mind just went blank. It's not pool party, it's our, it's our, one of our in colors. Let me look real quick. Seaside spray. I'm sorry, guys. It's seaside spray, and that's what the base is. Then I just took another piece of paper, and let me see. I'll give you the the dimension, the measurements on it. And it's upside down. Okay. It's five and a fourth by. The white paper is five and a fourth by three and a half. No, three and a fourth. Five and a fourth by three and a fourth. And what I did was I just took my um, feather and I just randomly stamped it all over that. 
and then I took a half an inch by uh, four inches and I just cut a strip of that and then I did Happy Father's Day from the previous from the um, my wonderful family stamp set put that on there I got the bird I put it on there and then this is just twine from another kit and I put it on and then this is also from my wonderful family and they're just little dots that I thought you know dads need it and honestly this one right here he kind of fell down there and he got stuck, so I just left him, <laughs> but I loved it. And then on the inside of this one, I put the bird, and I haven't colored him yet. I might, but I put it on there, and um, it says Happy Father's Day, and I will probably use something like um, Being a Good Dad Starts with Being a Good Man, and that's going to go on there, and it will probably go to my son, maybe. So anyway, guys, that's what I have. If you like my cards... And you would like to make them also, be sure and visit me at um, cardsforchrist.net. And that's my blog. And that's where I put a lot of the information about the cards that I've made and stuff. This video will probably go on there. Also, you can, if you see something that you like, you want to order, you can order any of the markers from me. RhondaGibson.stampinup.net also will be in the description below. And if you want to join the Blenders Club, all you have to do is email me, and that's going to be at my address, which is gibsongirlstamper at gmail.com. So anyway, guys, as I said, I'm kind of out of sorts tonight. I hope I didn't ramble too much or that I didn't make any sense. But guys, I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful rest of your evening. And if you like this video, be sure and subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. And if you want to, leave me a comment. I love comments. Uh, I get a lot of friends requests on there, and I don't really understand what a YouTube friend is. So, guys, just bear with me as I'm learning YouTube. And this is going to be on both YouTube and on Facebook. And I guess that's it. I'm going to be doing Father's Day cards for probably at least the next couple of weeks. And so you're welcome to join me and make Father's Day cards with me. Until next time, this Gibson Girl saying bye-bye.